Okay, I come back from my BRB, and the first thing I see is Nina talking about Sonic Lost World. What a fucking way to start the night. <laughs> yeah, you could say it has. Anyway, I'm back. You can hear me over the music, right? Is everything, like, balanced well? Okay, good. Good. Uh, ironically, speaking of Unreal Tournament, the game I'm playing tonight, this music is actually from an Unreal composer. It's from the Jazz 2 soundtrack. Y you know me. You know how I feel about Jazz Jack Rabbit. Anyway, we're not we're not fucking playing Jazz Jack Rabbit tonight yet. M maybe one day, but not tonight. Listen, let me let me tell you about real fucking video games. All right. I'm gonna sound like a real fucking boomer, a real back in my day kind of guy, but I will. I'll always fuck with arena shooters till I die. All right. I don't care for COD. I don't care for Fortnite. Don't care for battle royale shit like that. I grew up with Doom. I had like the original Doom two on a CD. That was a hand-me-down from my dad, and since that day, I've been, I've, like, exclusively been ride or fucking die for boomer shooters. I like the fast pace, I like the frenetic action, I don't fuck with aiming down sights, hiding behind cover like a pussy, no, no, no. I go in guns blazing, blowing up demons with a quadruple barreled shotgun, that's the kind of shit I like to see in my FPS games. Deathmatching uh, is one of the greatest inventions to come to video games. Thank you, id Software, for being the uh, pioneer in multiplayer first-person shooting game design. When you added online to the original Doom games, and people would set up LAN parties in the computer lab. I did not get to live through that era, but it sounds legendary. Anyway, Unreal Tournament is a game that came out in the late 90s, 1999. It was a it was an expansion on the on the groundwork that id Software laid with the uh, Doom games and the Quake games and their deathmatching. And it was a direct competitor to Quake, if I recall correctly. Qu Quake Free even, which was exclusively multiplayer focused. Unreal Tournament 2004 was my game of choice, but 1999 still holds up pretty fucking well, I can't lie. And there's even a couple of things I prefer about it. Are you playing the PC version? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I know there was a port to PS2 and Dreamcast, and like, no disrespect to anyone who had those versions growing up, but I could not imagine playing a game as insane as Unreal on a gamepad. <laughs> Dreamcast port is insane, I didn't even know, I didn't even think the Dreamcast could run the Unreal Engine, but uh, anyways. Let us get this show on the road.
In 2291, in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners, the new Earth government legalized no holds barred fighting. The Anti Mining Corporation, working with the NEG, established a series of leagues and bloody public exhibitions. The fight's popularity grew with their brutality. Soon, Leandri discovered that the public matches were their most <laughs> And this British and woman, shut up! The professional league was formed. A cabal of the most violent and skilled warriors in known space selected to fight in a grand tournament. Now it is 2341. Fifty years have passed since the founding of Deathmatch. Profits from the tournament number in the hundreds of billions. You have been selected to fight in the Okay, good, league. I just checked. Y'all should be able to see the game. Your strength and brutality are legendary. The time has come to prove you are the best. Man, nobody gives a shit about the You all you you, you all know what I'm Y'all already know what I'm here for. But in case you do want a plot summary, uh, to crack down on crime, the fuck the government organizes a fucking massive tournament full of the most dangerous motherfuckers across several star systems. They basically legalize killing games as a sport. And oh my god, did the game just crash because I alt tabbed? That's insane. <laughs> the crackdown on crime. They put everyone in the arena to do an object show challenge. <laughs> to crackdown on crime, everyone was forced to participate in a balance beam challenge. You know, why isn't there an object show like that? That's a killing game, except, um, you know, actually fucking good. I mean, there is the Nightly Manor, but that's more murder mystery. The previous time Unreal Tournament was run, it was not shut down properly. Uh, no, it crashed, jackass. I think Plasma Empire was doing a show of that concept. That is a name I have not heard in several moons. Ah. Oh man, good old Unreal Tournament. Look at that 90s ass UI, man. Oh shit, the game isn't even fully focused. I just got a peek. Let me fix the resolution on that. Yeah, there we go. It fucking crashed again. Be for real. That's... <laughs> General protection fault. Yeah, I forgot. 90s games don't like it when you alt-tab. Maybe there's a windowed mode. Uh, Metal, I'm bored. Can you put Family Guy on the bottom half of the stream? <laughs> yeah, uh, and I'll put some Subway Surfers gameplay in the top right. Just to make sure that your attention is fully... Fully, like... Distrib dis the distributed. Okay, good. Everything is in check. Note to self, never alt-tab again. Alright, it's time to get started for real. 
this is the, uh, everyone always plays Unreal for the multiplayer, but there is a single player campaign that basically just takes you through all the game. Did you ever watch anything from Cartoon Hangover? Uh, I remember I watched a little bit of Bravest Warriors, but I don't remember anything of it. Alright, let me see if I still remember how to play this thing. Learn the basic rules of deathmatch in this special training environment. Whoa, whoa, my mouse sensitivity is... I gotta fuck with my mouse sensitivity a little bit. Y'all can hear the game, right? Y'all can hear that crazy-ass music? Y'all can hear the game, right? Y'all can hear that crazy-ass music. Okay, good. J just checking, because consistently, audio is like the biggest thing on my streams. that I always fuck up. Yeah, like, being Puppycat, wasn't there, like, a couple of years between the pilot and the actual show? Alright, I'm gonna try 1.25- oh, that's much better. Yeah, man, look at me! Woo! This British woman did not just say gaming lingo. That's fucking hilarious. Anyway, basically, what she's saying is kill the most people and then you win. Oh shit, thanks for the heads up, Des. A good deathmatch player is always moving because a moving target is harder to hit than a stationary one. Yeah, real shit. The forward key moves you forward, but the backward key makes you backpedal. The left key causes you to strafe left, while the right key, you guessed it, strafes right. <laughs> She's just explaining all this shit to me while I'm jumping around like a kid in a candy store. Like, <laughs> I want to kill! Strafing left and right now. I've been strafing left and right, dog. Moving around is jumping. Jumping allows you to reach areas of the map that are too high to walk to normally, and to cross dangerous pits. I've been jumping, dog. Jump around the map. Excellent. Now we're going to learn about mouse looking. Move your mouse around and notice how your view shifts. This is how you look around and turn, known as mouse look. Try turning around several times by moving the mouse left to right to see the lovely battle arena. The lovely battle arena. That's a humble flex because this game had nice ass graphics for 1999. In deathmatch, your enemies will be attacking from above and below, so remember to always keep your eyes peeled. Like a banana. I'll try to. around too quickly, you can easily adjust the sensitivity of the mouse in the options menu. Let's learn about offense. Remember, the only way to win at deathmatch is to destroy your foes with weaponry that you collect. I'm going to open the weapons locker and allow access to some guns. Let's pick them up and get ready for some target practice. Oh, yeah, now, it, now we're in it. Now we're armed. The gun you're carrying is commonly called the shock rifle. It, like all other weapons in the tournament, has two firing modes. Let's try shooting the gun now. Press the fire button to emit a lethal electric beam. The shock rifle's primary fire will instantly hit the person you shoot at. In Unreal Tournament, every weapon also has an alternate firing mode. That's a tr that's a trick you can do. Um, if you if you do the alt fire and then shoot the plasma ball with the primary fire, it blows up into a plasma explosion. It's the coolest shit, man. Sometimes you might be carrying more than one weapon. But just put an enforcer sidearm in your pack. Each weapon has an associated number, as you can see at the bottom of your screen. 
The enforcer is weapon. All right, I'm through with the tutorial. I, th I think I think you get the I think you get the picture. Let, let's get started for real. Let's do a real death match with no British woman. Enemy roster. Oh, just one guy? Blake. Oh, the flag cannon! Hell yeah, dude! I love this thing. Ooh, the rocket! I'm already fu- Oh my- I, I, I can't pop off too soon. Because, like, this is just the start of the single player mode. And I'm already getting my hands on all the good weapons. This game has really good AI, too. Can you deathmatch with Sanjay and Craig? Unfortunately, technology was not advanced enough to load them into the game at the time. On Sanjay and Craig, and you thinking it's not that bad. You know, you know what that show is for me? Fanboy and Chum Chum. Like, yeah, it's bad, but like... It has its moments, sometimes. The Clarence, though, we could all shake that Clarence was pretty good, right? Blake killed his own bum self! <laughs> I like the atmosphere here. Yeah, dude, the maps in this game go nuts. They're so aesthetically, like, varied and interesting. It, it, Fuck. If I ever play Unreal 2004, though, ooh. Yo, let's go, Jade. I didn't know you liked Clarence. Lamau. Don't mean to give you too much flack, Blake, but get good. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because I'm firing. <laughs> he didn't even get a chance to breathe, dog! Oh, this isn't even 2003. This is 1999. Imagine how crazy that shit looks in 2003. I'm not, the, I'm not a bitch. You're a bitch, bitch. And you died. What are you talking about? This is back when Epic Games, like, really gave a shit. This is when they- this is when they locked in and really wanted to flex that- it, Yeah, we're those fucking guys. Insane interaction, it both, like, took us a second. Uh, yeah, Epic Games when they made other games that- It's- Fucking Fortnite makes so much money that they don't need to make anything else, and now they're just trying to turn other games into Fortnite projects. Like, they're making- they're just making shit in Fortnite at this point. That's so dystopian. And what really pisses me off is that Epic doesn't even legally give you the chance to play the Unreal games anymore. Yeah, they're all gone. Ni Unreal Tournament 1999? Gone. 2004? Gone. The original Unreal? Gone. We live in a world where instead of Jazz Jack Rabbit Free, we get Lego Fortnite. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even realize I had that good of a lead, man. I feel so bad for day one jazz, but as someone who got into the franchise, like, way after it was already dead... Fuck Epic Games. And fuck them even more for not bringing back the Unreal franchise. Because they were working on a new game. They were working on a new Unreal Tournament. 
and they just stopped supporting it for some reason. Yo, 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 where'd you get that? I want that. Damn, I ran out of ammo. Epic Games is like the Nickelodeon of games. Yeah, no, honestly, kind of true. If it's not Fortnite, they don't give a shit because it won't make them enough money. Just like that, just like how Nick is with SpongeBob. Yo, if you get the pulse rifle, it's fucking over. If you're really good with the alt fire. Yeah, you see that? You see that? Ooh, I got my flag cannon back. I'm in the groove, baby. It's called the Pulse Gun, apparently. I prefer Pulse Rifle, not gonna lie. Gotcha! All they have is Spongebob and maybe Lincoln... They don't even, They aren't even gonna have the Loud House anymore soon enough, because I think that's on its last season. Oh no, wait, never mind. There's the shitty live-action version. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah, man! <laughs> I need to keep the flow going. I need to keep it going. You stole my kill! Alright, that's it. You see why I think they should bring Unreal Tournament back? Oh, oh, you want some? You want some too, bro? Ooh. Look at the frag count, dog. Ten to three to two. They did not stand a chance. Oh, fractal reactor. I love this map. Yeah, why did I crouch? I think, like, the, the gimmick with this map is there's a hole down here. Uh, all of those chambers are are warp heads. And you can open- and you can open that hole with those buttons to fuck over someone. So you, you can't just jump around here, you gotta be careful, god damn it. It feels so good to get someone with a trap down here. Right, we're right across the screen. I see you. <laughs> Dead on, baby. Driven out of social media by fa knowing the Loud House fandom, that makes a lot of sense. Target acquired. I mean, I wouldn't be happy if I was working on the Loud House either, I'm not gonna lie. That, that, that to me doesn't seem like a show like Spongebob where they have a new crew that genuinely enjoys the series. It, it just feels like they're making that show to catch a paycheck at this point. In the hole! 
<laughs> she didn't get in the hole when she was alive, but her corpse fell in the hole. That was worth it. Yeah, but this map is so cool. Oh, so it's if you it's if you it's if you shoot the buttons, not walk on them. I need to I need to see if I can get her at least once with that. With that fucking wily coyote ass death. Ah shit, I got greedy! I fell in the hole! Oh, you don't, you don't wanna fuck with me now, baby. Y you, see, you see that? I lost several health points from the splash damage, but it was worth it. Where are you going, bro? Where are you going? I got... <laughs> Oh, there's fall damage, that's right. I, I frequently forget that about this game. Oh, that's a corpse. Explode instantaneously. Oh my god, that's babe, you know we- ah! you, you know what we gotta do one day? In like 10 years when we're living together? Imagine a fucking Unreal Tournament LAN party. I'd be showing you the ropes. There'd, there'd be a lot of blood, a lot of explosions. A lot of laughing, probably. We'd be jamming out to some of Alexander Brandon's hits. Good times. I haven't picked up a single weapon besides the rocket launcher, and honestly, that's all I need. Be gone with you. <laughs> Watching the metal stream while in the Hazel voice chat. Oh, tell Hazel I said, hey, I wonder how they've been lately. Oh, you can't- you can never go wrong with a good cake. I had an angel food cake earlier today, good shit. Oh shit, it's Fuddle Cake too, that's the real good stuff. Yeah, I did! There was no sauce on it though, we were out at work. But usually it comes with this strawberry sauce. I, I couldn't get it because they were out. It's like really fluffy and light, it tastes great. Like even without the sauce, I was like, damn that shit good. Yo, Pam, welcome to chat! That was an insane interaction. It took us both, like, a couple of seconds to process we're even close to each other. In the hole! Ah, shit, she ended my killing spree. It's okay, I got two frags in me. 
My mom says hi and thinks you're all evil. What? <laughs> Making oh my god <laughs> What the hell oh I got the shock rifle I just don't switch to it automatically okay that makes sense The one time I switch to the shock rifle I get killed Where's my rocket launcher where's my rocket launcher? There is no way I got her with a fucking default pistol. <laughs> God, I love this game. Oh, what just a lo ooh. That's a new game mode. Okay. Back on the topic of deathmatch. Dude, I wanna drink that water. I wanna drink that late 90s video game water. Oh shit, there's a minigun on this map. Where? I want a minigun. This 90s video game still serves water the old-fashioned way. I picked up flat shells, but I don't have a flat cannon. Come on, where are y'all? Yeah, get globbed! Please do not take that out of context. Oh, fried! I got the sniper on this map. You killed Slain. I guess Slain was Slain. I hear a <laughs> crash out in my mind. <laughs> Programming my PNG tuber to do a whip crack every time it shakes. For the real Johnny test experience. Oh, hell yeah! Lo rocket launcher! I'm rocket locked in! You know what? Now that I think about it, why did so many people hate Johnny test? Like, it wasn't a good show, but like, the hate them it had was insane. And yeah, it could be funny sometimes. I still quote, I blew up Malaysia all the time. No, Death gets the vision. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> like, it wasn't good, but like, it, it really was not that bad. It was Cartoon Network's original Teen Titans going. Like, it wasn't even their show either. It was like a Teletude import. I take anything over problem solvers, honestly. I'm sorry, did I blow your head apart? Yes! 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 Now I just need something to test it on. Worth it. I mean, Johnny Test Sex, to be fair, that was like every 2000s cartoon. Fairly Odd Parents had it really bad, we all know. Some of the shit in Fairly Odd Parents, I just look back on and I'm like, oh wow, you really could just do that in the 2000s. <laughs>
Yeah, I haven't seen Dexter in years, actually. No, oh, I was about to fucking blow that dude up! I, I also remember the later seasons being kind of weird. Like, they changed the art style. Oh, I was in the lead, I didn't even realize! I might fuck around and turn the difficulty up, if I can. Ooh, my progress! What? Oh wait, no, never mind, we're good. Codex of Wisdom. The Codex of Wisdom was to be a fantastic research for knowledge-seeking beings all across the galaxy. It was to be the last place known in space where one could access rare books in their original printed form. However, when the construction crew accidentally tapped into a magma flow, the project was aborted and sold to Leandri at a bargain price for combat purposes. That is fucking dystopian. Codex of Wisdom is dead ass some shit. Arkov 24 bl drew first blood. All right, where is he? A anyway, Codex of Wisdom dead ass sounds like a sounds like an item out of an RPG or some shit. Why is the sniper on this map? I see like no places for sniping opportunities. Well, now I got my- now I got the sludge gun, the ripper, hello! I'll see you soon, this. Oh, that's why it's called the rip- OOH! HEADSHOT! I hear shots, but I don't know where they're coming from. Oh, yo, the sniper is kind of busted, actually. Wait a second. The sniper is... What? This gun is broken, actually. What? I got off two headshots like it was nothing. I gotta tell Death about that when she comes back. Oh, come on, I just picked up the flat cannon. I just slaughtered that guy. Me when I slaughter that guy. I just slaughtered that guy. Hey, Cherry, welcome to the stream. I'm losing. I was doing so well. I got two headshots, and now I'm do I'm behind by three points. Behind my seat. Yo, what are they doing back there? Hello. And yeah, I'm still in for who is doing that bad? That's crazy. I didn't even get a chance to do anything. Like, give me, give me that. Oh, 
I picked up a minigun and I was like, this is how I get my comeback and immediately fumbled it. Picked up a cock core. I mean shot core, I mean shot core. Where are these motherfuckers? Sorry, did I blow your head apart? Can y'all like get down here? I, I got a flat cannon, but nothing to use it on. Thank you for the generous donation. <laughs> what was that scream? That was a real scream. They actually killed a guy in the epic offices to get that sound effect. I killed myself? They killed the one exec championing for Jets, Jack Rabbit, I fear. <laughs> I could believe Epic killed people. Yeah, see, the reason why they don't make any more Unreal Tournament games is because they made the Unreal Tournament real and killed all of the developers when they realized that the games weren't making enough money anymore. Which is why there's no Unreal Tournament 2024. Epic killed my grandma! <laughs> I got a headshot and probably didn't even do it on purpose. That one was on purpose, though. Wait a second. The, the spread is getting smaller. I might make this comeback, though. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. It's like Mr. Beast IRL Squid Games. <laughs> I trapped 24 people in the Unreal Tournament and forced them to kill each other for sport. The winner receives one million dollars. <laughs> well, well, I was making my comeback until I started talking about Mr. Beast Unreal Tournament. This is... <laughs> you know what? This inspired me. I think in swag, I should make a challenge inspired by Unreal Tournament. It's like how Challenge to Win had that fucking, like, League of Legends challenge. That's so funny. I can't believe that's a... Ah! 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 I'm good. Anyway, it's like how Challenge to Win had that League of Legends challenge, except this is a good game. Wait, the spread. Look at the spread. No! Guys, I still have a chance. I might actually make this comeback. There's no more spread. I'm in first. I made the comeback. <laughs> Not challenge to win was the realest shit. I haven't seen it in years, though. I'm, ma I'm making the comeback. You saw that shit? I was in the trenches? Cherry manifested the win energy and then I actually started winning. It was because of it was because of her that I'm winning now.
Oh, I'm in the zone, man. I'm in the zone. I don't know how else to say it. I'm in the zone! I got one more frag until I win this thing. Oh, that should have counted as my frag because I blew him into the lava. Oh, uh, yeah. Whew. It, cer it turns out the Simpsons voice actors can't really be replaced. Huh. So no voice actor can submit themselves as that character's voice. That's kind of fucked up. Speaking of The Simpsons, this guy is named fucking Bart. I can't believe Bart Simpson would do this. Oh, he drew first blood! <laughs> I killed Raven? That wasn't so Raven. Oh shit, yeah, that makes sense. Especially for- I feel like pe- I was about to say I feel like more studios should do that, but did I realize that probably be like really expensive? To have like four guys as potential voice actors for one character. He drew first <laughs> Left side above the stream audience. <laughs> Could you imagine if I had a soundboard, but like the only sound I used was a laugh track, and I played it after every joke? That's an April Fool stream idea, sitcom stream. And I, like, make an intro for it and shit. Oh yeah, I think I know about that. I think I, I, think I remember hearing something about that. It was like a phone call, I think. You could be family guy- Yeah, I could be mid! I killed myself? How? What? Why isn't this elevator working, bro? Me when I'm in any American hotel. I, I need a weapon that isn't this shit-ass pistol, dude. That's not what I meant. I don't want the impact hammer. I'm picking up ammo for other weapons, but I sure don't see it. Nikki killed her own dumb self. Again. Things are heating up in the Seth MacFarlane fandom. You know, I gotta wonder, does Seth MacFarlane even like Family Guy anymore? He hasn't written for that show in decades. I, I think he, like, hates it. He only provides voices. Got it. Die, bitch. 
that would explain a lot of shit, honestly. There's a there's an underwater section. What? All I did for April Fools was post my dog to my bug blog as an unidentified insect. Yeah, see, now those kinds of April Fool's jokes are my favorite shit. Matt stopped running his show after two seconds. Really? I never knew that. I, I, I thought that he would have stuck around for longer. Based on how consistently good The Simpsons was for a while. Unless you're talking about Futurama. Seth actually makes every single Family Guy Fortnite funny moments video on the internet. <laughs> Wait, the show is hand dry. I thought they used rigs. I mean, I knew the earlier seasons were hand drawn because they actually looked, well, good, but I didn't know about the later seasons. I, I really thought that they just switched to rigs. Y you know a show falls off when they switch to rigged animation. Arthur, Fairly Odd Parents, fucking Horrid Henry. One of the studios that animated the show literally an What an insane resume, because OKKO OK is one of the most expressive cartoons I've ever watched, and Family Guy is Family Guy? <laughs> and th there's gotta be, like, some mandates on the style for it to look so, like, restrictive. Like, no, no, you can't have him go off model. It's gotta be, like, exactly like the model sheet, dude. That's how you know it's Family Guy. Adult cartoons have wildly restrictive guidelines. Ah, uh, what a chill stream this is. Talking about animation while murdering bitches. In a game that's older than me. Literally won't allow the characters to smile, what? Literally won't allow the characters to smile. That sounds like the II2 mandates. <laughs> hey! Dude, my spread is looking crazy. I got a plus five lead. I killed Bart, call that shit dead Bart like the creepy boss. The bitch stole my health! What? Hey, my spread is decreasing kind of fast. I wonder what's up with that. <laughs> my spread is looking crazy, me making toast. And when I pull out the butter... That sound effect sounds like a groan tube. What is that? Oh, I only got two frags to go until I win.
Oh shit, 6 a.m. Peace out, Sans. You're always nice having you. God, this game feels good. It hasn't aged a day besides the graphics, and even those have aged gracefully. Look, everything about this game. Mwah. The aesthetics. The game- the gameplay. Everything about it. It feels perfectly crafted. This is back when Epic Games made Epic Games, and not just a game, singular. Skrillex? L like, Skr What if Skrillex got his name from this fu- That'd be so funny, oh my god. Fucking Skrillex. The names for some of the AI in this game are so funny. Like, what do you mean, Dominator? Impact hammer someone just for you, I'll try. Got blown up just for pulling out the impact hammer. That's the Unreal Tournament experience right there, baby. I wish I grew up with this game. The online scene for this shit sounds like it was a blast. Yeah! Oh, that feels good to pop off. Never mind, everything feels terrible. I hate video games. Hey, hey, what are you doing down here, dude? What? Oh my god! <laughs> what was that all about, bro? I didn't- I didn't even get a chance to fire. Yeah, the rede- oh my- the Redeemer is on this map, I didn't know that. Let me see if I can get a nice headshot. Because the sniper rifle in this game is busted. It's definitely hiding somewhere over here, I know that much. That was not worth it. That was not worth... I thought that was it for a second and I was about to scream. But I will gladly take that rocket launcher off your hand, sir. Yeah, get hit with a splash damage, bitch! Ah shit, I'm in my flow state now. It's always it's always like old school arena shooters that do it to me, man. Woohoo! The fucking demons took over me. The ghost of Unreal's past. <laughs> It's like the, it's like the lady in the tutorial said, you don't you don't a good deathmatch player never stands still. I need to see if the servers for this game are like Because I know the official servers are long gone thanks to bitch ass epic. But but there's gotta be some people still playing online.
Oh, give me that. Shit. I'm gonna take my chances and look for a better weapon. I'm not trying to fuck around to get an enforcer kill. Oh, I could have had that. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Someone killed themselves, and now I have a like. My spread was negative two, and now it's negative one. Someone fucked up. Redeemer auto fires when in close contact and can be charged for an intra kill. Good, good to know. I never knew it auto fired. I just knew that it could insta kill with a crazy charge attack. Anyway, someone's popping shots. My spread is rapidly increasing, and it's increasing in the wrong direction. Uh, I see you, bro. Reaper's ending spree was ended by yours truly. Oh, feels good. Let's keep it going. Let's keep the streak going. Woo! Five frags left, I can still make this. Jim is after doing the split. <laughs> Me when I'm teaching yoga class. Eh, bitch. Oh, you fell into my trap. I fell into my own trap. But wait, wait, no spread anymore. I think it's crazy how there's weapon, how there's ammo for the sludge gun there, but there's no actual sludge gun there. Ooh, I wasn't even trying to kill that guy. Let's go. That was a- that was just a pissing contest. That dude's got the ultra armor or whatever it's called. Important thing is, I am in the lead now. We fuck with that. I think it's crazy how even to this day, this game still has better bot AI than like most multiplayer games. Shield belt. Thank, thanks for the correction. Uh, I was always more of a Quake kid. Quake Free Arena is my game, but I do love Unreal Tournament. Okay, it's 25, not 24. I think I gotta get one more. Watch this. Ah, shit, don't watch that. <laughs> don't watch that. <laughs> the computers are locked. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, fuck, I love this game.
Look at the look at the scoreboard. That was close. Holy shit. It's like I was saying, the bots in this game do not fuck around. Grinder, what a sick name for a map. <laughs> oh hey, Des, welcome back. You missed me locking the fuck in and getting two headshots with the sniper rifle after just picking it up on accident. And on, it was on to, it was on that day I learned that the sniper in Unreal 99 is fucking busted. No, I got the headshots on accident. That's the funny part. I first for battle, but children yearn for unreal. Oh! <laughs> I mean, yeah, I tend to be, but like, I've gotten fucking washed by some of my some by by some of my friends. Rob side special from Ultimate is a weapon. We love buzzsaw weapons in video games. Oh, that was- <laughs> I think I set that up without even realizing it. With a fucking rocket launcher alt fire. I will say I prefer the alt fire in Unreal 2004 where it fires a bunch of rockets at once. Mm, I gotta play Unreal 2004 one day. On stream. Like, I mention Unreal 2004 all the time. And I'm like, I, I'm first in. But there are things I prefer about Unreal 99, mainly the aesthetics and music. Which isn't to downplay Unreal 2004, because that is a good-ass game. Oh. I might not have played a lot of Unreal 99, but Unreal 2004, that was my- that was my Unreal of choice. God damn, man. Oh wait, never mind. I got the flat cannon, it's over. They should add rocket tracking from a turtle so it sucks to fight against. <laughs> I think you can make the rocket launcher home in somehow, if I'm not mistaken. Imagine getting killed by flat cannon splash damage, crazy shit. And then imagine getting spawn killed! By flat came and fast split the 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 the. You know what the fuck I meant. You were killed by hijinks. I just pack it in at that point. Like if I got killed by a guy named hijinks, I'd be like, yeah, I deserved that. Oh, I got the minigun. It's so over for y'all. Nobody likes Destiny PvP. <laughs> I've heard horror stories about Destiny PvP, man. One bio rifle shot killed that guy. He, he couldn't get down with the goo. I don't know what else to say. Die, Destiny PvP is genuinely just unfun. Oh, okay, is it like Ford versus Chevy? Or is it like unfun in a frustrating way? 
Like, the game is not balanced and they won't fucking do anything about it. Okay, yeah, no, it sounds like the ladder. Did that guy just say you suck and then die? It's like two extremes. You you have Overwatch 2, which is so balanced that it's boring. And then, like, from what I'm hearing, Destiny. Which, like, they do not give a shit and just let everything run wild. You suck dies instantly. That's some shit Bubby would do. Des, you know what we should do? I think that one of the swag episodes should be an Unreal Tournament episode. Like, not literally Unreal Tournament, but Yuki My Sims, the host, is like, Okay, guys, I put you all in this giant arena full of weapons! Kill each other! It'll be fun! The team with the most points wins! Go! Some of the contestants are like, this fucking sucks, are you crazy? And then PS2 is the first one to, like, get first blood. If Hello Kitty is still on the show during that challenge, I'm gonna make her cracked. Swag wiki article in two years, Hello Kitty has been known to be quite proficient with firearms. When you're in a room full of saw blades and you're standing in place, you're bound to get killed like that. Nice to see you! I'm fucking cracked at this game. Good timing. A lot of abilities have no counter. A lot of weapons can just kill you in two shots out of nowhere. Getting other kinds of ammo is really unfair and half the time pointless since you die so easily. And lose it when you die. Holy shit! That sounds terrible. What the fuck? I'm sure the gunplay in Destiny is alright, it was made by the Halo developers, but like, the balance, oh my god. <laughs> Just tech it, bro. <laughs> I know nothing of Destiny, but I feel like the community would make an exact excuse just like that. Like, oh no, you're supposed to play around it, me trying to play around it and dying anyway. <laughs> me when I can't play around it. Me when there's no way to play around it. <laughs> yeah, is that a, a rocket just went off behind me, bro? There's a dude named Hijinx and he is mad. I think he might be second on the leaderboard. I mean, yeah, I'd be pretty mad too if my parents named me Hijinx. Likewise, there's a dude named Kadat. That's a pretty sick name, I can't front you. They reset everyone's levels every season to avoid power What the fuck? <laughs> this game is not real. Ah shit, my spread is gone. Me when I break my legs after doing the splits. Woo! Now I got the rocket launcher. Oh, it's over for y'all. Oh! <laughs> if you can't go around it, can't go under it. Just 
go above it. Did you hear that they also sunset like... Yeah, though, they like get rid of single player expansions and shit for some reason. It's insane. Malevolence? This small facility is well suited for testing rising tournament favorites in one-on-one -on -one combat. <gasps> I'm a rising tournament favorite? I mean, shit, yeah, I better be. I'm the guy who made Object World. You don't want to fuck with me. Oh, first blood after so long feels so good. Damn. Oh, I could have had that guy. I feel like I I feel like I really could have had that guy. Oh shit, they got the drum and bass samples going on in the back. It's still a hundred gig- Fucking AAA developers, man. There probably is already, but like, I feel like there should be a Twitter account dedicated to just posting, like, short clips of, like, Unreal Tournament aesthetics from 99 and 2004, because these maps look so good. Even, like, even when they're so old. Compress your textures challenge. No dead ass. They'll, like... Yeah, you know, maybe not everyone can run 4K textures. Doobie Turtle was really good about this. I think it was like 45 gigabytes on launch. Wow, it's just like Roblox. <laughs> One sad enforcer shot goes off in the distance. Ah, shit. Did I kill myself? Yeah, no, that, why don't they just do that? Make it an extra download. That'd be so much easier on everyone. I think some games do do that, but, like, it's so few and far between for some reason. Yeah, only, like, two people are gonna use the 4K textures because only two people have 4090s! Part- Alright, this next frag is gonna be for deaths. Our anniversary is tomorrow and I wanted to honor my great- And I wanted to honor the greatest girlfriend of all time with the greatest kill of all time. Shit! This next one. This next one though, this next one. That, that death could just represent how there's been some bumps in our relationship from time to time, but every relationship has them. Because when you roll over- when you roll- after you roll over the bumps, the ride gets smoother. Just like how smooth I am with a flat cannon. You know, that isn't the 4090 only, like, 2% faster than the, like, previous generation? And it's still, like, so expensive for no reason? Am 
Metal, are you a dog? No, that's Isabel. <laughs> I love you, Des. Oh, I am not doing good. Look at my spread. Time to lock in. Where are the good weapons? We found the good weapons. Did I get- did I just get impact hammered in the year of our lord 2024? Unless you give it five, give it five minutes, give it five minutes. Y'all already know what the fuck about to happen. Who's up getting their hammers impacted? Bars in a real be like, yeah, I'm getting impact hammered. Damn, I totally fumbled that. Where's my flat cannon? Yeah, give me that, give me that. Do you think people have performed CBT on themselves with the impact hammer? Alright, it's time to end the stream. Never mind. We, 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 I'm deleting the channel again. That was the worst thing I've ever said. Me when I'm impacting my hammer. And by hammer, well, I mean... Ah, my balls! <laughs> I thought that he said something else, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh. 
you're, you're, you're making that up. Someone has not done that. Oh, hell. That was my first loss. I can't believe it. Reaper was definitely on top. We gotta watch out for him. Now, compared to Overwatch, where Reaper sucks. It's time to rip some shit. Overwatch so balanced, they made the ice character le I'm so mad about what they did to Mei. Why would you take away the character that freezes people's away- Why would you take away the- They took away her ability to- I still can't process that. She can't freeze people anymore. Mei, the character whose identity is based around freezing people, can't freeze people anymore. What the fuck? And it's all because bitches whined about it being unfun. Uh, like, play around it, unironically. It's not like Destiny Wars actually- It's not like Destiny where it was actually broken. People were just bad. Or maybe not even bad, just whiny. There, there's, a, there's such a thing as listening too closely to your player base. I stand by that. Uh, Lycanroc or Zoroark? Uh, Lycanroc. Specifically the- specifically the, uh, Midnight form. Sick as shit. I fuck with Zoroark too, though. I was about to say, where the fuck is everyone? I found them. All that just to get killed by the guy I wasn't even targeting? That's insane. What the fuck? He did not just pull that off! I was looking at the Gen 7 Pokédex earlier. There are, like, no Pokémon in that game. I was surprised. I love how janky YouTube chat is. I keep seeing messages on stream before. That's insane. Last time it was the other way around. <laughs> I'm not getting impact hammered again. Oh! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I got it. That that could have been so easy. No, Gen 5 actually is the best Gen, I'm not gonna front you.
I love how Dark Rise, the villain in Pokey Part 2, and the whole deal with the game is introducing this edgy bitch to friendship so they don't void all existence. <laughs> That's what happens in that game? What the fuck? I only had the first one. That's so funny. Yeah, no, Reaper is definitely the problem, child. Gen 5 also had the best protagonist designs. It's like a My Little Pony season for the- No, that's exactly what I was thinking. That's literally Discord. Wait, Mewtwo did- really? I did ass thought they still- I, I, I really thought they had to seal that bitch away or some shit. Again, really? Okay. Oh, oh, that's actually kind of sick. Time, it's time to lock in. Okay, you know, you know, chat, chat. I'm gonna go off on a little bit of a tangent here, all right? Talking about Mewtwo and his redemption. I feel like I'm never gonna get to talk about this again, so. Here's my hot take of the day. I don't fuck with forced redemption arcs in media. Like, you know what I mean by a forced redemption arc, right? When they try to make a character who is very clearly... Who very clearly should have died or, like, been defeated or sealed away or some shit, good. And it's like, no, what the fuck do you mean, redemption arc? You're a genocidal demigod. You don't get that shit. You should be dead. Steven Universe. No, dead ass. That that's Steven Universe with the diamonds. And unironically, that like 
and unironically, Cozy Glow, I'm gonna say it. I know she was like, negative 5, but she only ever used friendship as a ladder run to gain more power. And never once showed any signs of wanting to be a better person. I can't believe I'm saying this, but that child was a sociopath. It feels like a bit of a cop-out. No, it doesn't! That's why I hate it so much! Like, oh yeah, power of friendship! Wahoo! No fucking... That, that's some pussy shit! I wanna see that dude, like, mounted on a wall or some shit, man. They, did, they do not deserve a quote-unquote redemption arc after pulling the most heinous shit in the entire franchise. That, that's me with Frieza and Super. Like, why is he back? Wh what is he doing? I also hate when the redemption arc just feels rushed. And, like, it only happens for the sake of redeeming that character. But, like, that's just lame, man. Yeah, no, Goku should not be chill with Frieza. No! That's the thing that fucks with me about Steven Universe, too. Steven has been shown to lock the fuck in when the going gets tough. It's not like he's incapable of bloodshed. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. He would have had so much more power as a character if he stayed dead. Yeah, like, just let him kill, man. Let him kill. Oh, yeah, no, same here, Des. For all intents and purposes, Cell Saga was definitely Gohan's arc. I think it's pretty sick that they got the- I, I think it's pretty sick that they got his voice actor in the dub for the, like, early episodes of OKKO. OK I, I prefer KO's, like, current voice, but that- I always found that pretty, like, fucking cool. Oh, that's- we gotta rewatch the OGT Titans one day. If you're free tomorrow and I'm not streaming again, I'd be so down. <laughs> oh my god, did I just bait Reaper into killing himself on accident? Nice. Oh no, Kaboom, your message showed up. At least for me it did. D did you get timed out for saying screw? That's insane. That's like barely a swear. You gotta love YouTube.
Uh, about six seasons. Yeah, no, I think kaboom, Deadass got timed out for saying screw redemption. And like, what do you mean? That's like not- BFB got away with saying screw. And that show is for babies! Object shows are for babies! Object shows are for babies! I love that video. Two at mo- yeah, no, the original Teen Titans went on a while. No, because the object illusion characters had so much beef with each other, and for what? That's the kind of chaotic energy I want to invoke with my shows. Just absolutely demented casts. Swag and an Animania. Both of them. I think they should stop TGG immediately and reboot the OG. No dead ass. Oh shit, I'm getting my groove back. It's time to lock in. You know, Quadratini's personality changing over a ship being so mid that he couldn't take it was the funniest shit. Yeah, you don't fuck with the guy with the flat cannon. Oh, look at me. I'm back in business. Look at my spread. Teen Titans goes on season 8. That's dystopian. The most slop show I've ever seen. It is, especially the later seasons. Where they just start, okay, we're like, well, I feel like at a certain point they were like, okay, I think we're running out of ideas. I don't know what the hell else we can do. And then they just started doing whatever came to mind, even when it was the dumbest shit. You suck. I'm in the lead. Shit. I think the game is tied. Ready for the eclipse? Oh shit, I forgot the eclipse was tomorrow. Oh my god, bro, that was the closest I got.
Yeah, I think the next eclipse isn't until like 2055 or some shit. Yeah, the Reaper, I think, is a boss character. I can tell this made some kids weep in the 90s. This is how you learn. They flog you in single player before you get flogged online. Fifteen thousand episodes. What the hell? You see that role move he did? He's the only CPU who's done that. And I don't think the sidestep from the original Unreal is in this game, unless I'm not doing it. Honestly, I think it's more humiliating getting flogged by robots than real people. Because, like, that's a computer. I'm smarter than a computer. I gotta get him with a splash damage. Yeah! Oh yeah, that too for sure. Because like you never do you never know who you're gonna play against in multiplayer. Sometimes you could get the perfect game. Other times you could get mashed with sweat lords who have been eating, sleeping, drinking, and breathing the game for decades. And that's why I believe that any multiplayer game is always more fun with your friends. Because, like, that's your friends. Random people online will just piss you off even more because you're, like, screaming at some guy from, like, Germany who is insanely cracked at Unreal Tournament and has been playing ever since the first one came out. TF2 lobbies! <laughs> I beg to differ with Well, Well, see, Kaboom, you're insane at Mario Kart, and also, most Mario Kart online players are, like, 12. At, at least in public lobbies, because, like, like, most of the Switch user pool has to be, like, kids and teens, right? I wouldn't be surprised if there are more kids online in Mario Kart than adolescents and adults. I didn't get the Xbox Live experience until I played TF2. That's me with a Master Chief collection. Like, it's so weird. I'm decent at deathmatch shooters, except Halo. Got him with a splash damage, bro. Worldwide is full of sweaty players using meta when it comes to 8 Deluxe Online. <laughs> oh, being in a meta lobby is hell. I used to play Mario Kart 8 Online all the time. TF2 lobbies can be fantastic, but sometimes there's some guy playing racist songs through his mic. <laughs> Most TF2 lobbies I've been in are chill as fuck, but then some are insane. 
And like, not in a fun way, I mean, in a, there's a bigot in chat way. But what for right people, it's a fun game. Timeless. And sometimes it's an unplayable full lobby with sniper bots. <laughs> Of course my killing spree was ended by Reaper, of course. <laughs> I didn't even know where he was. Nice, nice. Oh god, yeah, I've heard about that, Pen. The only people still playing Destiny Online PvP are those severely fucking dedicated to the meta. I did not just kill myself, you're kidding. Rally the, o rally the OSC troops, let's battle in a metal TF2 lobby. <laughs> I might make that- I might make that a viewer milestone, actually. Like, imagine I celebrate getting a hun- Imagine I celebrate, like, getting a certain sub count with an Unreal Tournament party, that'd be a blast. I definitely picked 2004, not 1999, though, because I like 1999, but 2004 is my game of choice. I'd even give everyone a free link to legally acquire the game. Because Epic certainly won't. Y you want to know how bad it is, Des? The Unreal Engine that Epic literally uses for some of their ga all of their games, to this day, is literally named after the Unreal franchise because it was created for Unreal, and now all of those games are not available to purchase anymore. They've been using the Unreal Engine for 25 years! They might just rename it to the Epic Engine at some point, and that's gonna piss me off. Come on, I got one more, and then it's over. Fortnite Engine, I would, I would jump into oncoming traffic. They're kind of trying to do that anyway, like, you can make whole-ass games in Fortnite now, at least try to, anyway. It's- it's basically turning into dreams. Oh! You don't fuck with the guy who made Object World, man! Is that a pirate ship? Dude, okay, I gotta play this one, at least. D there's a map on a pirate ship, man? This game is awesome. King K. Rule was not fucking around.
I love that scream sound. Oh! With 22,000 episodes, how the- How the hell do you- At some point you have to run out of ideas, right? Captain Ginny is going to be one of the surprise enemies. <laughs> Imagine she's one of the boss characters like Reaper. Reaper will forever live on in infamy as one of the toughest opponents I've ever faced, along with the Google Corporation and Ford vs. Chevy for the PlayStation 2. They really just named this dude Fire? The bot names in this game are so funny. I can't believe there was a dude named Bart on that one map. Some of them are so raw that they wrap back around them to being cool, like Violet Nightshade from My Sims. Why did they use. Why'd they give a character a name that raw? In fucking My Sims. Oh shit, this is the first map I've been on with like a new power up, it isn't the shield belt. The anti grav boots, they give you an extra jump. A higher jump, I mean. Yo, I just soft locked myself! Oh, uh, well, I thought I did. Violet Nightshade. <laughs> Violet Nightshade is a metal thing. <laughs> it's actually Violet, not Violent, but you're right. Either way, it is a Metal Gear-ass name. God damn- v Vanessa, really? That's such a w fucking white-ass name. I'm not gonna take shit from a bitch named Vanessa. Alright. That's the rejected fifth mean girl. What's up with that goop gun? Oh, the bio rifle? It, yeah, it kinda sucks. It shoots out at an arc. It's really bad. I'm out here getting washed. I only have two friends. The goop gun honestly feels like a joke. I know that's not its name, but I'm gonna call it now. I'm gonna call it that now. The goop gun.
that guy was invisible. The only way I could tell where he was is because of his muzzle flash. Unreal devs adding the worst weapon in the game. Haha, <laughs> what if green come? <laughs> this ain't a gun, this is alien jizz. They did that in half life. Is that dude really named Wrath without the W? What the fuck? Not gonna lie, I think this map sucks. I was like, oh, cool pirate ship map, and then the actual layout is so ass. This feels like a community map, and I mean that in the worst way possible. He's so angry, but only at the beginning of the alphabet. <laughs> Alright, I think I might restart this set, low-key. And the frag limit is 25? That's insane. You could be here for days. Why is Sky High a real movie? I thought you- I thought you were talking about the Air Bud movies for a second. Someone's got the rocket launcher. I got the damage amplifier. This is like... This is literally just quad damage. Onslaught if you're a Doom fan. Oh my god, that could have been a straight shot. Why did I do the ult? I thought I was holding the minigun. Yeah, you're using the green goop gun, dude. You're not gonna get a kill. Nobody gets a kill with the Jizz Rifle. Rule 1 of succeeding in this game, do not use the Goop Gun. Hey, Metal, can I show you an awesome dog? Oh, yeah, of course. You're, you're looking at one right now, in fact. It's Isabel with a shotgun. Where are all the good weapons? I don't want your bio sludge ammo. It might be diseased. Oh, 
bad time to have an itch. Oh, I almost... That would, it, would, it would have been so funny if I actually blew her off of the ship. I love the duality between some of these AI names. Like, we have Vanessa and Jace. The whitest na the whitest name ever. And then we have fucking Wrath with an R and not a WR. Oh shit, damage amplifier and rocket launcher? I gotta be careful, but splash damage might fuck me up. 25 frag match, and the leader only has 7, by the way. Dude, Jace disintegrated. Oh yeah, that's when you get the damage amplifier, it coats your weapon in this, like, purple skin. Oh my god, you know what I should stream one day? I should stream a Roller Coaster Tycoon game! You can get to see me make a shitty theme park! Or park attack. E either or, either or. Or play coaster, I don't know why that just came to me, oh my god. Oh, you're a cunt, 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 you're a cunt. I'm gonna get demonetized so but I don't even make money off of YouTube. Why am I saying I'm gonna get demonetized? Hell yeah, Kaboom gets division. I love shitty feed bark, that's why I go to six flats! <laughs> Come on down to Metal Land and ride the Deep Plunge, the deadliest roller coaster ever raided by human scientists. The reason I say human scientists is because we tried to test the ride on gerbils immediately after. The gerbils did not survive. The Deep Plunge! The Deep Plunge was named after what I do to your mom in bed every night. With a 10,000 foot drop that will be sure to turn you into spaghetti. Gerbils don't survive getting looked at funny. How'd that hamster from Wonder Pets do half the shit she was doing? Hamsters are, like, the least... What's the word I'm looking for? Hamsters have the least stamina out of every animal, ever. Like, if you look at a hamster the wrong way, it'll just disintegrate. I love hamsters, they're so cute. I, I had hamsters as a kid, but they died. I'm so sad. Remember the hamster spot? Oh yeah, G-Force! <laughs> that, that was one of the movies of all time. Uh, it's alright, Des. That was when I was like, five. I would have barely remembered it if hamsters didn't come up in chat. Also, if there's one thing I remember about Wonder Pets is that Ginny the guinea pig always said, um, no, at no jackass, I'm not a hamster, I'm a guinea pig. Oh, hell no, I got the damage amplifier, it's over for y'all. Damage amplifier plus rocket launcher, terrifying combo. And I fumbled it. Every five-year-old had hamsters. No, that's so true. That's got to be like a shared memory. It was either hamsters or birds. 
Wait, what do you mean G-Force isn't about hamsters? I always thought they were hamsters! This is my Pikachu has no black tip at the end of its tail moment. I used to have a bird too, her name was Sky with an E. I remember she died one day and mom told me and that was so sad. She was the sweetest thing. I don't remember what species she was, but she was white. And then there's my cat, Egypt. I miss Egypt. She didn't die, but we had to give her away because having a pet in the house was expensive. And if I ever get older, I do want to have a cat. If I don't have a kid, I'm having a cat. And I'm probably not having a kid. Egypt 2! Egypt 2! Egypt 2! That, that would be so cute! Egypt 2! Or Egypt Jr. The G in G-Force is for Giddy to- Oh my god! What do you mean the G in G-Force is for Giddy Pig? I thought they were hamsters! All my life, I thought there was a movie about hamsters. <laughs> I'm so mad. In this housing market? No, dead ass. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, I wanna be broke. I love only being able to afford a thousand dollar apartment. With one bedroom, one bathroom, that's the size, and every room is the size of a closet. Yeah, no, the Canadian economy is fucked. I'm not ready for games to cost $100 when I move there. Worth it. Open the door, minigun jump scare. I'm a bowling ball. <laughs> Fuck, dude, what is animatic battle free dropping? Hey, Nina, welcome back. It, it's been a crazy-ass stream. I'm getting my shit rocked. Uh, the alien jizz gun is the worst weapon in the game. Where We've talked about doing a roller coaster tycoon stream. Great times. Bro, can you still get this game? This looks heat. Um, unfortunately, not legally because Epic Games fucking sucks. But if you look online for Unreal Tournament 1999, it should still it should still be available somewhere. Oh shit! You want to be on RCT? I wouldn't mind that. We could do like open RCT to a, like do a theme park together. That'd be fun. The worst stream of all time. <laughs> Metal and Nina on the same stream. Uh, for those not in the loop, Nina and I are like... We're practically like siblings, but at the same time we're like fucking fiery and coiny. We got that dynamic. It's all, it's all fun though. Castle Miner Stream Z Castle Miner Z Stream win um 10,000 subscriber incentive 
Uh, just like how Sonic Lost World is a 100,000 subscriber incentive. <laughs> Actually, no, you know what my- you know what my 100,000 subscriber incentive should be? Sonic 3D Blast. <laughs> no, better yet, Sonic Blast for the Game Gear. What if I give you- what if I give you ten dollars? <laughs> See, you do 3D Blast just to make me unironically mad. Oh yeah, that's right, because you like 3D Blast. Just to spite you, I'm gonna play the Genesis version. I, I hear the Saturn version is better, but like, not by much. I've been listening to some music from the Saturn version though, and it makes me so mad that the soundtrack is so good, but it's stuck in Sonic 3D Blast. <laughs> Castle Miner CD stream. It's just the two of us getting to like 20k. <laughs> Games to play with potential Metallics collaborators. Uh, Nina and I have Roller Coaster Tycoon. Pim and I have fucking Castle Miner Z. Kaboom and I have either Mario Kart Smash, something along those lines. It's one of my free. Wait, you have a Saturn? What the fuck? That's sick! <laughs> I think the Saturn is a really cool console with, like, nothing on it. Those things have gotta be worth a fortune nowadays, man. Saturns are probably really fucking rare. I've only seen a Saturn in person once, and it was the coolest thing. Damn, all I have is a Jupiter! <laughs> Oh, what? What, Kaboom? What did you just realize? Adeline! Oh my god! <laughs> that- now that would be hell. I remember the fucking grind you did getting the P-Ranks. Or the fucking 100% or whatever they were called, the perfect ranks. If Sega released a Jupiter console- Got it by accident! That- tell me more, that sounds really interesting. How do you get a Saturn by accident? I want to know more. Did I ever tell you <laughs> the definition of insanity? And then we had Celeste with the fucking Sisyphus meme. One must imagine Madeline happy. Sonic Colors on the Wii- Oh, let me tell you about how much I hate Sonic Colors. That is the game that steered the franchise into a direction that I want to, like... Oh, I hate Sonic Colors. I hate the writing. I hate the copy-paste levels. Soundtrack is good, though. I hate the story. Because it could have been interesting, but they had Ken Pontac and Warren Graff writing it. And like, when the game is good, and when they lock in on the levels, it can be good. But most of the time, they don't, and it's just floating blocks in color space. You're channeling your inner Mario numbers. No, I'm not. I haven't called Miss Pac-Man the most important female character in gaming yet. Which is an insane take, by the way! I can't believe he actually thinks that! <laughs> the movie Meet the Robinsons? Yeah, I know about it, I've just never seen it. it. 
Oh! There's a Wii game for it. It sucks! <laughs> As do most licensed children's games, TBH. Uh, unless you're Spongebob for some reason. BFBB, movie game, cosmic shake, the holy trinity. Basically, I asked my I asked my grandma for a Genesis one year, and by some bizarre freak misunderstanding, but I still don't know how, she got me a Saturn instead. What the fuck? That's kind of awesome, actually. When your parents get the name of your thing wrong, but it works out? Question mark. Mommy, mommy, I want a PlayStation! Okay! And when I ask for an original PlayStation, she gets a PS2? I'd be fucking bawling. I was excited to play Colors as a kid because I knew people said it was a good one, but I absolutely never got... Man, Colors is kind it's just kind of boring, I'm not gonna lie. It feels like a neutered version of the day stages in Unleashed. And what would later follow in Generations. It's still better than Forces, though. I was too bad to get past the first world as a kid, same. And then, there's a, then, uh, then a couple years later, I revisited it when I was good at video games, and I was still- I was- I couldn't finish it because I was bored, not because I was bad that time. <laughs> was one of the games that would crash my console on startup. It was, the, it, it was the Wii telling you to abandon ship early. Like, no, you don't want to play this, go back. Oh my god, the 7800. Yeah, I heard that console is infamous for, like, not having anything on it. Atari got, like, one W and has never been able to reach that high since. Oh my god, yeah, you showed it to me once! <laughs> Ultimate Duck Hunt! <laughs> and wasn't that like a fucking... Bass Pro... Sh no, not Bass Pro... I'm not... Whatever the brand is called. It was a tie-in game, I think. Anyway, I think I got one more round in me, and I'm gonna call it an... Maybe one or two more rounds, and I might call it a night, because this stream has been a lot of fucking fun. Cabela- Thank you, Jade! Holy shit, it was Cabela's. It was a Cabela's tie-in game. That fake new duck hunt leak from- That what?! I feel like I'm missing some very integral context. <laughs> what do you mean that's a thing that happened? New duck hunt? Nobody would be popping off. That's like if they announced a new ice climber. <laughs> Oh shit, they're different games. I never knew that. I, I thought that they were the same game for a second. Now people would love new Ice Climber. <laughs> what people? 50 year olds who grew up with the NES? I, I say that as an exaggeration, but that statement is like actually getting closer and closer to becoming a reality. I think I've played more Cabela's than Sonic Co Dude, Jade, I played more My Sims Racing than Sonic Colors. That sentence would get me looked at funny in the Sonic fandom, but I, I, I not gonna not gonna lie, 
I know for completely different genres, but I would rather play all of My Sims Racing than Sonic Colors. I played more Sonic and the Black Knight than Sonic Colors? People all know what Dunk Hunt is. Plenty of Ice Climbers fans only know them for Smash. I'm not gonna lie, I used to think that the Ice Climbers were Smash exclusive characters. When I was a kid, I had no idea that there was a game attached to them. And for a little bit, I even thought they were Kirby characters because of the way they looked. <laughs> I found the video, I wasn't high. Oh my god, it's real. Smash exclusive characters. Yeah, I thought they were at the same camp as like Master Hand and shit. I thought Black Knight. I heard that Black Knight is the better of the two storybook games. I know the story is really good. But like, I can't get past that waggle shit, dude. We motion controls shoved down my shoved up my ass for the sake of Wii motion controls is the worst kind of game design. Oh, you know what? I will. I will for sure. You know, I think I might download the video and show it to everyone on stream. It's 16 years old! It's that old! What the fuck? Yeah, I re yeah, seeing everyone as nice was really cool. I think the storybook games had so much potential. Like, imagine a fucking pirate game. Pirate Sonic, man! Pirate Sonic! <laughs> I think Skyward Sword should have never gotten remade with better controls. It should have just sucked forever. It, it's funny too because the general consensus on Skyward Sword is that it is pretty all right, except for the controls. And so when the Switch version came out, it was kind of a godsend. Sonic with a sword is not something people should act like is lame, but Black Knight just made people think that. Dude, no, unironically, Sonic with a sword is hard as fuck. It's just when it's attached to Sonic and the Black Knight, and that's why people think it's lame. <laughs> Dude, I loved Excitebox as a kid. Goat gaming. Oh. Then again, that was also the era where people thought Rush was bad. Oh, yeah, no, makes sense. D the late 2000s and like late 2010. The late 2000s to late 2010s were the worst time to ever be a Sonic fan. Having a Sonic OC what was like painting a giant target on your back that said kick me. Talking about Sonic in public was a death sentence. I'm so glad that we're like starting to move past that and people are like starting to accept Sonic more. Killing spree dies in that's the unreal experience. <laughs> Oh shit, you did- I- I- I really- I really always thought you were a lifelong Sonic fan, Nina. Uh, likewise, I- I was on that little, like, fucking shitty bandwagon during Forces. Where I was like, ooh, no, we gotta get rid of Azuka, man! Sonic Team incompetent, er, but no, really, Sonic Team are just trying their best, and it's saying of it's fucking them over. That's how it's always been since, like, Heroes. I I'd say that, like, on the lead-up to Frontiers, I started appreciating the Sonic franchise a lot more. When you really think about it, the Sonic games that people lambast, and not, like, the actual worst ones, I'm talking about the ones that have the worst reputations among the public. Like, I'm talking Unleashed. Not 06, though. Un 06 sucks. We're not allowing 06 Glazers to get out of this.
like, Sonic really is not that bad of a franchise. It just had some bad games, and people think that it's bad. Oh yeah, that was the funniest shit! But game, the game froze on a really close race, and then when it unfroze, I won, and Kaboom freaked out! Overwatch 2 just makes me sad, man, because I really do miss Overwatch, but I can't go back to it, because they made the game suck! They shut down the first game and replaced it with a worse game with worse UI, worse balancing, and a battle pass. I would kill myself if I was Jeff Kaplan, and I saw that that's what they turned my game into. I thought the Genesis Sonic games were some Super Mario All Star. Oh my god, that's so funny. I will get it made Russell with Team Marshall's Pits! <laughs> I've never played the 8 bit games, but I know that Triple Trouble is pretty good. I played a little bit of that on Origins Plus, and I was like, yeah, this fucks. I was killed by Gilfred? Damn, his parents must have really hated him. Nice. Yeah, no, at a certain point in 07, you can... Oh yeah, no, the Master System versions never got re-released, I know that much. Which sucks. I love me the shitty Game Gear ports with screen crunch and lag. Or you could just dress everyone up as abominations, which is what I'd probably do. I only dress- I only dress up the sims I give a shit about. Me when I'm an Animal Crossing New Horizons Island designer. Let's just say the custom outfits will probably be removed day one! <laughs> you know, I was surprised by the amount of customization. My Sims deserves another chance. Imagine a new game with the depth of something like Animal Crossing, and all the customization mechanics and shit from game one, and a story like Kingdom and Agents. I would cream. Something to finally get Nintendo off their high horse with the mid that was New Horizons. I'm getting ahead of myself, I don't want to turn into the guy with the pie. Nina knows what I mean. It isn't even that New Horizons was a bad game, I just think calling it mid is funny. Honestly, Nintendo's been on a pretty decent streak with remakes lately. I, I, I trust them, but also the fear is understandable. Ooh, the accidental headshot goes nuts. I just want a new Animal Crossing that'll keep my attention for more than a week again. Oh my god, that's so real. But then, it, but like, no matter the game, that's always been me with Animal Crossing. It's so, it's such a hard habit to break.
Oh yeah, Kaboom, 100% and fucking Breath of the Wild. That's how serious they are about completion- about completing games. 3D All-Stars, though, that sucked. Anyway... Here's this fucking duck hunt link Nina sent me. I'm gonna do a brief intermission. I might play a little bit of 04 and then call it a night. Because I don't have 04 installed, is the thing. But I do just want to show y'all Unreal 04, because that was Unreal 99 I was playing for the past, like, three hours. Anyway. Yeah, no, Nina, I feel like you'd really like Unreal, especially Unreal Tournament, since I, I know you love Quake. Alright, let's see this. I I have played Hollow Knight a little bit of it. It is a good it is a good ass game, but I've never finished it. So this is apparently this? new duck hunt that I found on my dad's desk. Uh, what? <laughs> he works for Hudson, but um, this disc was like it didn't have anything written on it. So we're gonna we're gonna check it out. Oh my god, I I feel like there. Hudson would make a do a new duck hunt, but that's the funniest shit. I love how it's still using the old music. Oh shit, we gotta play that someday then. I could I could even through like crusty 144p quality, this was probably super impressive for the time, but like it is kind of jank. Yeah, the dog left. Never been touched. that's nuts. Dude, look at that fucking dog model. He looks like a FNAF animatronic. That's Sparky the fucking dog. Uh, hi, Ethan. We are watching this jank-ass leak that Nina sent of a quote-unquote new Duck Hunt game on the Wii. It's the funniest thing. Somebody, like, actually took the time to animate this. That's the craziest part. Anyway, with that being said, Quaza, you missed a lot, man. Unreal Tournament 99, do not show this game to Joe. Do not show this game to Joe. He will start hunting it down, and he will get all of us on, and he will start tweaking. It's so fun. It's that 90s boomer shooter arena goodness. Uh... Ah, uh, yeah, the good old days back when cameras could only go up to 240p. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, the good old days of recording Let's Plays on your- on your fucking Blackberry phone. Stood up against, like, a couple of books. 
Oh, what the fuck is that thing in the corner? That is the Pem Shark. Uh, one of my friends sent me that to add to the overlay. Uh, one thing I might do is, like, get people to just send me random images on Discord and add them to the overlay. <laughs> An old in-gadget article about the leak. If we ever make a video about Ultimate Duck Hunting, it will be us talking and getting frustrated about not getting the duck and laughing our asses off for 10 minutes straight. <laughs> Uh, do you want to play some SRV 2K for a Do you want to be- do you want to play some SRV 2K for a little bit? Uh, I could, but then I'd have to hop off the stream. Which I was probably gonna do anyway. I'm gonna see if I can find a download for Unreal 2004, because I don't have that game downloaded. I needed everyone to see that ass- D Bro, my club, no one go crazy in servers that have him. That's the key word, in servers that have- that, that, the, the thing about SRB2K is like, if you get accustomed to playing in certain servers and play in other servers and they don't have your main, it fe it's the worst feeling. So wait, even though you can't get the game legally, the servers are still up. You can't get the game legally and the servers are no longer up. It's the worst kind of hell. Epic Games sucks. They're gonna they're gonna rename Unreal Engine to the uh, to the Epic Engine. I guarantee it. It was already enough for them to take down the servers. Ah, peace out, Kabubu. It was nice having you, man. As it always is. But thanks for joining the stream. It was gl glad to have you. Ah, uh, shit. Internet archive has it. I'm about to snipe that shit. Yeah, but that's the weird part. They have both of the Jazz games, but they got rid of everything Unreal for no reason. Did... What I... For... I could only assume it's spite at that point. Dude, I put my hand in a bag of lifesavers and I pulled out three pineapples. Hell nah, dude. Not the worst kind. <laughs> Oh shit, that download is gonna take an hour by itself and it's already getting late. You know what? You know what? You know what though? Next time I stream, I might just stream Unreal 2004. Like 1999 and 2004 back to back. 
I think that's a pretty good idea. Again, I I'm so sorry that you joined so late, Quaza, but probably because you were busy getting your ass beat in Persona 3. <laughs> But either way, it's always nice having you in chat. I hope that you can make it for the next stream, though, definitely. Better than grabbing a bunch of green apples out of a jelly belly bag. <laughs> After watching your recent streams, I might do my- OH SHIT! I gotta be there for that. Especially since you've been there for, like, all of mine, I gotta be there for that. Actually, shit, if you wanna, I'll send you a link to where I got Unreal. I, I think I know, I think I remember the link. Anyway, with all of that being said, thank you to everyone who came on my stream. There was a lot of laughs, a lot of screams. Uh, Reaper kicked my ass. I got dicked several times over until I dicked him back. And it was so worth it. I locked in. Got that crazy fucking flat cannon kill. Fun times, fun times, as always. I just really like streaming, I don't know what else to say, man. Also, it is getting late, so good night, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever time of day it is to you. Goodbye, and thank you for tuning in. I'll see you all next time, which should hopefully be very, very soon. I want to play some- I want to play some more Unreal, man.